In this lecture, we'll be taking a look at a new library called Parsley, and this is the ultimate JavaScript form validation library. So here what we'll be doing is we'll be taking a look how we can implement it in a simple HTML form. So what I've done is I've downloaded the script file from this website using this parsley.js and I've included it in my solution. Next what I've done is I've created a sample form. The reference is taken from the site itself and here you can see we've included bootstrap and highlight and parsley.css and then this is the form. So here I'll take you quickly to what all it's going to do. Let's say the form validates successfully. In that case, this div will be shown. And in case there's some issue with the form, then this div will be shown. Now here you'll notice some data parsley tags for the form. So here you will be introducing data parsley validate equals empty. Next, with all the input types, required field, whatever field you want to make mandatory, there you need to have this required attribute. And here also you can see data parsley trigger change. So on change also, this is going to validate whether the email entered is correct or not. It's only going to validate the syntax of it, not the actual email, whether it exists or not. Now, once that's done, you can see that for min selection, you can specify what should be the minimum number of checkboxes selected over here. So for that, we have data parsley min check. And here you can see that we have data parsley trigger on key up, then data parsley min length, data parsley max length, data parsley min length message. So all these will be read by the script file parsley.js library. And then we have data parsley validation threshold. Now if I go down, we have the validate button that is the submit button with the value validate and here we have included jquery then fx and highlight libraries and then the parsley library after that what we are doing is as soon as the validate button is clicked we are associating demo form dot parsley on field validated and then the callback function we check whether there is any error or not if there's no error obviously the form will be submitted and in case there is an error, then we will be showing the related class, callout info or callout warning. So let's go ahead and check it out now. So here we have our form and you can see that when one clicks on the validate button, all these mandatory fields lights up and this is coming up using the highlight library that we have. So if I reload this page, this is how the form looks. And here we have 20 characters min. So if I type something, you can see it says, come on, you need to enter at least a 20 character comment. So this is coming from the parsley data comment attribute that was introduced in the checkbox. And here overall form validation comes up. So let's click on validate now. And you'll notice that full name, email, and other fields which are required, this shows up and overall the result shows up over here so this library really comes in handy when you want to validate a form and this do provide various options in order to handle complex form validations so do give it a try